Welcome back. You're tuned into Dealing Room. A uh, lot of uh, action in the primary markets uh, as well today. So you have Pratap Foods IPO that is opening. You also have SBI Life uh, IPO. That's uh, day three, the final day of that. It was subscribed by about 58% by the end of day two. And of course, Reliance Home Finance. That one will list uh, on the NSC in just about uh, 20 minutes from now. Reliance Capital ahead of that is a little weak in trade. This is the demerged entity of Reliance Capital. But we are putting a focus on a buzzing uh, uh, stock and this is ITI that we are talking about. This one has uh, seen a sharp run up. It's up uh, about 12% in trade today, 13% right now and ran up quite smartly yesterday as well on the back of an order win worth about 7,000 odd crore rupees. S. Gopu, the CMD at ITI is uh, joining us. Uh, morning, Mr. Gopu. Congratulations on this order. If you could just run us through the details of this order over here. See, see, ITI has already done the ASCON phase 1, 2, 3. ASCON is the Army Strategic Communication Network. We have done and still we are maintaining it. It has got installation, commissioning and warranty and AMC. Okay. In that, around, around 6,900 to 7,000 crore is now the order value, which we would like to start doing from immediately. And this financial year, we will, uh, we are, we will be planning to clock something. And major work will be done at 18, 19 financial year. It has got civil work and also it has got several electronic equipments and it has got the integration will be done by ITI and we are already capable and hopeful of doing it successfully since we have got successfully uh, implemented the phase one, phase two and phase three. And this phase four against a lot of competition, ITI could get the L1 now. We have got the information now. We are waiting for the communication from the uh, defense so that we will be able to take up further. All right. Uh, what's the timeline in terms of uh, the order execution then? Last but one year, last year we have done. Yeah, you see, for the uh, it needs installation commissioning. That means we have civil works also. We will be starting the civil works maybe uh, December, January, and it has got at least two years for the time frame for installation commissioning, and for further three years of warranty and AMC, which will be continued further. Right. Uh, Mr. Gopu, if you could just tell us what's the quantum of the 7,000 crore order that will be recognized in FY18? Because as you mentioned, you will be starting work in January. So you just have three months of FY18, uh, which you will get. Maybe around 10 percent we are planning to do in 17, 18. Maybe, and 18, 19 will be another 40 to 50 percent. The rest may be the rest. This is the one which we are the initial planning. Maybe we will have to fine tune it once we get the communication from uh, the defense. Maybe we will have to do it very fast also. Uh, this is the uh, first cut which we are planning. So, uh, you know, as you're saying, uh, of the 7,000 crore, uh, what amount will be recognized? As you're saying, 10 percent, will it be in the range of around 700 crores? Yeah, uh, maybe it is not that much, maybe slightly lesser than that we may go because it is initially the planning will take uh, much a lot of time so that and also a lot of agree, uh, agreements, etc. So that it may be maybe around 50 percent what you have given the figure maybe. All right. And uh, what is the margin profile of this order then? Maybe we may not be able to give you very exactly because this is a very complicated uh, uh, project where we have civil work, electronic work, system integration and various approvals and all that. Uh, the margins will vary from several uh, sectors. Maybe from civil it will be different and electronics it will be different. And more or less it will be comfortable margin where a public sector can execute it successfully. Right. Uh, and talking about your business then, uh, currently what's the percentage of revenues that comes from defense and uh, how do you see this uh, expanding to or is there focus on defense orders going forward from here? Already we are now doing manufacturing of Bharatnet equipments for uh, Jeepon equipments which has given boost to our revenue jumps last year also. This year also in third and fourth quarter we are planning, we are, we are thinking that it will give you a big uh, boost. And this uh, defense order also which is which we are expecting uh, for a longer time. And this also will boost us in uh, our revenue very great to the extent. Right. Uh, Mr. Gopu, if you could just tell us in terms of where the order book is concerned, where does it stand currently? And if you talk from an FI18 perspective, what number are you looking to clock in? Presently, we have 1,600 crores order book position, okay, which around 75 to 80% will be executable in this financial year. And plus this around 7,000 crores, which is a time frame is expected to around three to four years, including the AMC. So, 
Our next year uh, plan of crossing 2000 plus, we are aiming for 2700 in 1718. In that, around 30 to 40 percent or even 50 percent, maybe from this defense order and from the other orders which we have already addressed around 12,000 crore orders in other IoT and other sectors, which in that at least around 30 percent we are expecting. So, that our plan is this year we will cross 2000 plus. 1718, we are planning to go 3000 to 4000, and the uh, 1920 and all that we would like to touch. For 4,000 to 5,000 crores where ITA will be able to march ahead in full zeal and enthusiasm. So the order book looks pretty much healthy. Uh, taking that into consideration, what's the growth outlook looking like for FI18? That we are also still thinking, I may not be able to give any figures at present. So we, that is also in one of our plans for our uh, financial uh, planning, madam. Gopu, thanks so much for joining in uh, today. Those are live visuals coming in on your screen right now. That is Anil Ambani over there. Reliance Home Finance will list in just about 10 odd minutes from now. His son Anmol Ambani is also there with him along with his wife uh, as well. So the uh, entire Ambani family present uh, for the Reliance Home Finance listing. This is a demerged entity of uh, Reliance Capital.